Okay, this is Lisa again, and we're at um, we're at just making of some changes to the uh, shading and detail. Uh, this is the detail part, so hopefully it won't be too long. What I figured out when I stepped back, again, I'm drawing at an angle. You want to be drawing straight on. Is notice this goes downhill. See it? It's way too far downhill. It shouldn't. It's like it's melting into that bowl and it shouldn't do that so what i'm going to do and i'm going to i chose to do this to show you how to fix a problem once you've gotten this far you fix the problem by being aggressive with your eraser just go in with a good eraser get in there don't rip the paper if you can avoid it but you get in there and you erase that section of drawing and i'm gonna i'm gonna step back before i make any changes i moved up and I erased that out of there. I just used my eraser. Notice that's better. See, whoa, better. Much, much better. Almost there. Clean that up again. We need to go a little higher. My arc has to come here. Just my arc, my original arc moved when I was shading. So then what I want to do now is go in with the shadow. Just apply it. Step back and look at it. This is where you... Get up and you look at it and you make sure, is that right? I'm much happier with that. See how it goes and it doesn't look like it's melting. So then I just go in with my charcoal, accept that this is exactly what I want, shade it back in there and allow it to fade back in. And that's how you do that. It's not too bad. Charcoal is very, very forgiving. So, um, you know, play with it, work it. Um, don't be afraid of it. Get in there and struggle it. Make it do what you want. This handle I kind of like, but I really think that it just needs some more. So what I'm doing, what I did when um, I was looking at it when I turned the camera off, is I just added some lines in there. Some of them I just left because it's a big dark handle and I kind of like that movement, so I'm just leaving it there, just like that. All right, so we get in over here. Um, we need to... I have some light darks going on on this lip that I don't have. So let's um, figure that out. Ted, can you find me a white charcoal over there? You'll see it in that bag. I forgot to get it. It says we might go with some white charcoal in this. Um, so now what we might do here is start to shade just a little bit so this whole thing isn't one tone. Okay. And then I've got my white, and I've got my white, so I might try this out. If I don't like it, I'll step away and not use it. But on here, I have very bright. Oh, I do like that, actually. And I, and I think this won't hurt to drag a little bit of this in. Don't need a lot there. We'll need a little bit here. Oh, yeah. And a little bit here. A little bit here. I might actually choose to drag a little right there. Oh yeah, I kind of like that. And then uh, because I've got some brights going on right here, I might drag a little more. And then I might drag a little more right here and right here. It does not behave exactly the same as charcoal. Once you got it onto the paper, you can um, you can take a clean pa um, paper towel or, or um, uh, Kleenex and rub it in more smoothly. You can shade into it and push it back down again so it becomes more part of your overall matrix of your surface. It's not necessary. Some people don't like it. Some people are like, nope, nope, don't want white. You want to use the white of the of the drawing, and that's perfectly acceptable. All right, so you, you choose on that. It's all yours to choose. All right, let's get in here now. I want to finish. I think the pot is almost done for this drawing. I'm pretty happy with it. It's a little bit of shading that can go right here underneath. I'm going to go back down with my hands, smooth it out. Get in there, shade it down, there we go. Got it. 
so that it looks like it's going under the top. Now I want to get back to this bowl because I felt like I didn't really finish it earlier, and this is the detail layer. So what I think I need to do with this bowl, I like this, and I like some of what's going on here. I need to clarify the rest. So I this has a really sharp dark, so I'm going to go back in and sharpen that dark. Let me try to get out of your way. Yes. And then this, I like this. I, the only part right now is right there is fine, so I'm going to leave it alone. I'm happy with that. This has to go in here more. I'm going to lighten this right there just to darken it again, but to darken it again in a slightly different way. I want this shadow to come more drastically. I want it to echo the round again. So, is that because that's what it's doing? In, and then they merge right about here. And I really want to do a nice, what is called a nice lost found, lost found contour edge, where you find the edge of your line on the uh, of your contour, original contour, and it exists then it goes into the shadow and then it exists again and that's what i want to do on the edge of this it's very much like we did on the eggs that lost bound contour edge okay so that's good now remember we had a pool of light right here and i lost it so i'm bringing it back and I have this light source, and it's right there, and I'm bringing it back because I kind of lost it. Okay. I might actually choose to use the white again. Let's see what happens. If I start to try to play with that and bring it in as part of my drawing. Let's see what happens. I'm going to soften it, and I want to soften it. Oh, I kind of like that. Be careful with rubbing. You can burn your skin. I've done it in the past. You create enough friction, you can burn yourself. It hurts, too. We want to really finesse this edge, like we fin tried to finesse this edge. We want to really finesse the edge because it's like the edges, the ends, the way you end a pot, the, the way the pot meets another surface is really important. The eyes catch there and your brain goes, ooh, what's that? And it catches and you, it wants to know and try to make sense of what it's seeing. I'm going to put some white here so I can manipulate it again. I'm going to go back in with my charcoal. Oh, yeah. And add my darks over the lights. Okay. I'll get in here. I need to erase. This has got to get more controlled. I'm losing control of that. See this edge there? I need to control it better. So let's get in there and darken along there and push out. And I'm going to go this way and out. This way and out. This way and out. Yes, that's better. And then if I need to, I can soften it. some point I'm going to have to step back. I've got a couple of lines happening here. I see them. What is the true edge of this bowl? And that's what I need to clarify here. So let's get in here. I want this is the outer edge. So I need to smush down. Again, control the shape as it disappears around that edge of that bowl. that shape 
this is going to come out and get caught. I'm going to put some white because that's a very bright spot right there. And I think it's going to look nice if I can just capture that edge. And then drop this straight to it and shade. Shade. And shade. And I need to step back so I can see if what I've achieved works. Okay. Oh yeah, look at that. Alright, so I'm happy with that bowl. I'm pretty, pretty happy with it now. Um, so I, the only thing I feel I need to clear, clean up is how this bowl sits on this surface right there. Um, I don't feel that it's, it's complete. And then once that's done, I'm pretty happy with this, uh, drawing. So this has to get cleaned up. I feel like there's too much, too many weird little elements going on. Um, I just need to pull the ellipse into a tighter fold. And there you go. I'm happy with that. Now, this cast shadow back here, this is the cast shadow trapped between the pot and the bowl. I need to indicate that. This is the fabric fold. So I need to start indicating those is what is going to happen, I think, now. Definitely. And that this has to go under there and become a little bit darker. And I think that's all I've got left to do. I'm going to make this go very dark, come around, kiss the edge of that half thing, that half um, ellipse, and push into there really tight. I want a nice, tight, dark that just goes back like that. And then uh, kind of phrase out there. I want to sharpen the edge, the lighter side, actually, here on this pot to indicate that there's a light source coming this way. And this one is lighter right there. But then at the same time, but ah, then at the same time, I want this dark shadow to come under there. Um, hit the edge of that pot and then come into the space towards you. That makes sense? And see how that starts to look like a fabric fold? That's what I'm looking for. All right. Now this is where we, we remember I said we'll do this last because I'll probably smudge it up if I try to do it too early. All right. Over here, we do have a little bit of a, a, a kind of a linear line thing happening, which we're going to come off of here. Just don't make it too fussy. Well, actually, it's forward, so you make it as fussy as you want, actually. Remember, I wanted it different, so I've been hitting it with this paper towel to get a slightly different kind of textural surface going on so it's not smooth like the pots. So I'm going to actually try to pull that off and allow it to be less smooth and a lot more 